Okay, so I wanted to take a bit of time to explain my go-to tech stack. And of course, this doesn't work for every job. So let me give you a little context. I've been a full stack software engineer for about four years and my work has been mostly centered around web apps. Typically, most of the applications I've worked on use Django on the back end and some front end framework like Vue.js or React. But the more I explored the React world, I found that using a framework like Next.js, which combines front end and back end logic, has really simplified my development. So now that's where I'm at. Let me show you exactly the different things that make up my tech stack. As you probably guessed, starting off with Next.js and adding a dotted line here because Next.js kind of blends the back end and front end. I use Next.js serverless functions to build my back end APIs. And for front end aspects, Next.js comes with both client and server side rendering. Also, you get built-in routing and layouts, SEO support, and lots of nice optimizations. Overall, Next feels like a framework that comes with batteries included. Then we have Planet Scale, and honestly, I started using Planet Scale because it had a free tier, and I felt that the developer experience and documentation was nice, but I saw that they're actually removing the free tier, so maybe I'm going to look into some of our cell storage options. After that, as my ORM, I have Prisma, which I found to be the best type safe way to communicate with your database efficiently. Pretty simple, that's what Prisma does. Then going to start getting into my front end stuff. First up, I have Tailwind CSS, which is a utility first styling framework and a little controversial for going against the separation of concerns with traditional CSS files. But I feel like I work so much faster using Tailwind. Also, Tailwind has awesome documentation and developer experience. It's really my go-to for styling now, and it made me stop using other UI libraries like Material UI. Then to complement Tailwind CSS, I use Radix Primitives, which provides you with interactive JavaScript components with great consideration for accessibility and keyboard controls. Then next to that, I use Radix Colors, which is another Radix library I like to make use of. It takes the guessing out of choosing the right colors and color palettes for your apps. This is an alternative to Tailwind CSS colors, but they added logic to the different scales. For example, you have different scales for backgrounds, interactive components, borders, and more. And lastly, on my front end, I use Framer Motion, which is an extensible animation library for whenever you need any fancy animations, which I think is really good for landing pages or showcasing some new product. So now to my other category, I added Vercel which is the easiest and fastest way to deploy your Next.js apps. Overall, I feel like it collects a lot of the things that you would want from your hosting. You get automatic continuous integration and deployment from Git. And also, I like to make use of Vercel Analytics instead of Google Analytics. Also, something else that I found really cool with Vercel is deployment previews where others can test and drop comments on new features directly on your new interface. Then I have TypeScript, which I also added a dotted line for because TypeScript is used for both front end and back end use cases. And with TypeScript, it does take slightly more time to write your code initially, but the IDE suggestions and the T maintainability that you gain makes it so worth it. Then last but not least, I have GPT-4, which is my AI pair programmer, which allows me to work faster and break down large problems. It's what's used by GitHub Copilot, Raycast AI, and a bunch of other AI apps that I use. So there we have it, but I wanted to add a quick final note. In the end, there are many different tech stacks and tools to choose from, and none are inherently better than others. It really comes down to the problem that you're working on. Users will not see nor care what you use, they just want the product to work. So really, just choose something and get good at it, I would say. Now that we've seen the ins and outs of my tech stack, I wanted to talk about another essential part of software development, which is security. The last thing that you want after spending so much effort and time on your own projects is a malicious breach that will put all your work at risk. This is where Sneak comes in, the sponsor of today's video. Sneak is a developer security platform designed to secure your applications on all bases, starting from your first lines of code all the way to your cloud infrastructure. So first, you'll sign up using my free link, sneak.co slash Brian, and import our project repo. We'll click on fix vulnerabilities and open a fixed PR. By integrating Sneak into your development workflow, you can identify and fix vulnerabilities early on, ensuring your applications are robust and secure. But the best part is that Sneak can cover your apps 
across all stages of your development lifecycle. And Sneak supports many popular languages and integrations. So go try out Sneak to find out if there's any vulnerabilities that may be affecting your projects. Again, it's free to sign up using my link sneak.co slash Brian. And of course, thank you Sneak for sponsoring today's video. Hey Brian, Brian. 